Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to take a quick look at how to create a class from some JSON. So I've got some JSON here on the desktop. Let's have a quick look at it. As you can see, it's pretty simple. What we have is we have some JSON representing a book. We have some fields here as well, author, title, genre, price, etc, etc. Let's close this down. We can use Visual Studio. So let's load up Visual Studio. I'm going to create a I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to go ahead and create a console application. Let's click next and create. So once this is finished, great. What we're going to do is we're going to create a folder to put our class in. You can call it what you want. You can call it classes, model, models. I'm going to go for models. Right click, add class and so because I'm anticipating creating a book class I'm going to call it book okay I think the actual convention is to uh, is probably to use an uppercase B so let's change that right so now we've got ourselves a book class what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to have a look at this in notepad plus plus we're going to copy it obviously you can use whatever text editor you like so i've copied this now okay so i've got that on the clipboard i'm going to highlight the existing class that we have here and i'm going to click on edit paste special and i'm going to click on paste json as classes and as you can see what we've got is we've got we've actually got two classes so we've got a class here that represents the root object uh, and then we've actually got the book class. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this class here because all I'm actually interested in this instance is the book class. And as you can see, we've got a number of uh, properties here and they all have get and set methods. So let me build that just to make sure it builds and it does. Let's go to the main program. I just want to show you that you can go ahead and create an object of this. So obviously we've got book, my book, equal to new book. As you'll probably notice, we've got an error. wonder if anyone can guess before I fix it what the error could be. Well, if you haven't guessed what it is, it's because when you create a folder and then you create classes within a folder, what it'll often do is it'll create a namespace that's the name of your project and then the folder. And obviously we created a folder called models and so therefore the, uh, the book class lives within models. So if you want to use that, we're going to want to go ahead and import the namespace at the top. So using and it's going to be console at two dot models that'll work likewise you could copy and paste it or if you're feeling really lazy just highlight over the error click on the drop down and click on using and it will actually do it for you so there you go nice and simple um, and obviously from here we have an object so we can go ahead and you know set the uh, set the various attributes so you know author etc etc and we can set what other uh, various bits and bobs that we want to set just use it like a uh, oh, that's interesting i wonder if price was actually so so in this instance as you can see price is actually a string which might be fine but you might want to change it for example you might want to change it for a double and you might even want to say that it's actually nullable in which case you can put a little question mark on the end so that's how you create a double and that's how you create a nullable double so if we go back to this obviously it's no longer a string and we can give it a value for example a slightly outside the scope of what i'm showing you but i like to give a few extra tips when and where i see fit um, so as you can see we've created ourselves a nice object here and we did it really quickly in this particular instance it wouldn't have taken you very long to go ahead and create this class but I just think it's a nice clean way to create a class directly from JSON um, and obviously you might have some uh, monolithic JSON you might have a huge JSON file with loads and loads of uh, various different fields so you might want to 
save yourself a bit of time and go ahead and create an object this way. If you're consuming JSON, more than likely you're consuming JSON via an API. And of course, the great thing about doing it this way is that you're going to be able to take that response and deserialize it to an object. And likewise, you can go ahead and serialize it back to a string if you want to also. So I think this is a, is a, is a rather nifty little feature that I use quite often as it goes. And um, I'm hoping this little feature may save you some time while you're coding. So that probably wraps it up for this video. If you enjoyed the video, of course, go ahead and like it for me. It really helps the YouTube algorithm. And likewise, if you want to see similar content to this in the future, absolutely consider subscribing. And until next time, take care.